Hi, this is Dave Mayers for Lion Country Supply. Here to talk to you today about an exciting product, Lion Country's Universal Bird Launcher, stock number ULR. And behind me, uh, that's Java. Say hi, Java. Okay, uh, a few things I wanted to go over with in this video with you are what's included with the uh, Universal Bird Launcher, how to assemble it, how to make some adjustments, and then maybe we'll take it outside and actually show it in operation. So when you get your Universal Bird Launcher, here's what comes in the box. Of course, you have a very high quality steel frame launcher. You have the receiver, receiver an antenna to go on the receiver, the battery for the receiver. Here at Lion Country, you won't have to go out and buy your own batteries. We're going to send one to you. You'll have a transmitter that also has a battery inside it. Two uh, mounting screws. And you'll also get an extra trip wire. All you need for assembling this uh, unit is a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so let's go through the assembly. It's very easy, pretty straightforward. First thing we're going to do is open up the receiver case and install the 12 volt battery. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is mount the receiver to the thrower frame. Now on the side of the frame here, you'll see the little trip wire that attaches to the plastic servo arm. This is what operates the latch mechanism uh, to release the bird or the dummies. We need to attach this wire to this white plastic arm before we bolt down the receiver. And to do that, <clears throat> push your plastic arm that's on the side of the receiver to where you can get at the very tip of it with the wire. Put the wire through one of the holes. Uh, we start with the middle hole, move the transmitter around, and now you're in position where you can attach the two screws. After those are attached, take your transmitter antenna, screw it into the base. Now you're ready to program. Now to program or to match the transmitter with the receiver, it's a, a fairly easy process. You'll notice that when we installed the battery, we have a, a blinking light here. And all we need to do is hold down the red button on the top for two seconds. And that light will go solid red and then continue to blink fast. Take your receiver and hold that button down for two seconds and you'll hear the servo in there, uh, the gears will engage. Don't know if you can hear that at all. And now the receiver is programmed, the lights have gone off. When you turn the receiver on again with one quick push of the button, the light is now green, meaning that it's ready uh, to launch. Now when you press this transmitter button right here, you'll hear the servo go and the little arm will move forward. After every time you launch a dummy or launch a bird, you have to turn the receiver back on just with one quick push of the button. That resets the cam arm, puts it back to a green light, you're ready to go. Press your button, 
you launched your bird. You'll read or hear that this unit is referred to as a two button unit, yet there's only one button on the front. Well, here's the deal. On the side of this unit is a switch. In the up position, it says boost. In the down position, it's normal. This, depending on which position you have this in, will allow you to operate a second uh, uh, universal thrower. We program this transmitter and this receiver with the boost switch in the up position. If you have another one of these and you want to be able to control it, go to the down position, reprogram it just like we did, and now you'll be able to launch two of them just with the flick of this button. Okay. Now to load your launcher, take your live bird, or in this case a dummy, place it in the center of the launcher, push down until it is completely down inside the basket. Take your launcher arm and now you're putting that underneath this wheel. Um, always recommend before you pick this up uh, and transport it to where you want to launch the bird from is to use this safety pin to place inside uh, the hole here and that will prevent any accidental releasing because you really don't want this flying up into your face somebody could could get hurt these are pretty strong springs now speaking of the springs they, the springs are adjustable they have a tension adjustment and again all you need is a screwdriver and underneath is a slotted uh, head of a bolt and you can adjust these springs for the tension that you want. The more, the higher up the spring connection is on the bolt, the less tension you'll have and that's good if you're introducing a young dog to some sounds, you don't want to startle them too much and you don't need the, the bird or the dummy to fly very far. So the more parallel those springs are, the less noise and less distance you'll get out of uh, the launcher. If you rotate this bolt and it brings the screw uh, wing nut down so that your springs are more of a V shape, you'll get much longer distance out of the throw and it will be a little bit louder. The other adjustment you can make, if for some reason you find that the launcher after you press the button isn't launching, two things. One, make sure your safety pin is removed because this will not launch as long as this is in here. And secondly, you'll notice at the top underneath or on this white wheel is a little Phillips screwdriver screw. You can adjust this wheel so it's uh, left or right so that it uh, will have more of a positive contact to the launch arm. If you find out it's launching prematurely, then you move it one way. If it's not launching at all, you move it the other way. They're factory set to where 95% uh, of the time they're going to be in the right position. Okay, I've unloaded this so we don't have any accidental uh, discharges here inside. But I can show you real quick. So I'm going to turn the launcher on. Green light is blinking. keep my hands away from the top or any moving parts and launch it. Pretty dramatic inside on a table, but that's all there is to it. You're ready to reload it. Don't forget to turn your receiver back on and you're ready to go. 
while this system is completely remote, as it was intended to, uh, to be used, there may be times when you want to operate it manually. Say you forgot your transmitter. You're out in the field, you want to work your dog, you don't want to have to go home for your transmitter. There is a way to do it manually. The first thing you would have to do is take the transmitter, I'm sorry, the receiver off of the uh, unit so that you can take the wire, the trip wire, off of the servo arm. Because we don't want that connected, we're going to do it manually. Then all you need to do is take your cord, run it through the hole in the bracket next to the base of the trans of the receiver, up to the hole that's on the L bracket at the base of the trip arm. Tie that off, and now you can operate this manually with a cord. Okay, let's go through the whole process in the field. First thing, turn your unit on. That moves the servo so that the holding bar is in the right position. We're going to load it up. Job is helping here. Move my back, girl. Sit. Stay. Bring the locking arm up and over and underneath your bar. I always insert the safety pin because I'm going to be picking up and moving it. I'm going to set it here at an angle. It's just what I like to do. And we'll go launch it. Now after you get your unit in place, remember to remove the safety pin. Okay, let's go Java. Okay Java, ready? Go get it. Bring it here. Leave it. Good girl. Well that's it. The Lion Country Remote Universal Bird Launcher. Get one now. Well, do your pup a favor. <laughs>